So we're here at City Hall to celebrate April as Donate Life Month in the wonderful uh, city of Portland. We want to thank the mayor, we want to th thank the Secretary of State, we want to thank the BMV, we want to thank May Maine Med for the wonderful job they do each and every day to help save individuals' lives by talking about organ and tissue donation and encouraging people to register as an organ and tissue donor when they get their driver's license or ID and or online at registerme.org. It's a wonderful opportunity to give life, to get that heart on their driver's license and to say that if I no longer need my organs, someone else could utilize them and to continue their life. This heart means that you love someone enough to help them save someone else's life. I do want to indicate that you're more likely to need a transplant than to become an organ donor. Again, it is very, very rare. Only 5% of all deaths happen in a manner where one can become an organ donor. And there is no age limit to registering as an organ and tissue donor. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, we want you to register as an organ and tissue donor. My experience with organ donation was when I became terminally ill with liver disease due to a rare inherited genetic disease. Um, that gave me cirrhosis of the liver and being told that you know to get your affairs in order by the doctors and that the only treatment it's not a cure but just a simple treatment is to get a liver transplant. My experience uh, with organ donation is uh, very very personal. I am a recipient of a liver. Um, I ended up with NASH which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Um, came upon me about three years ago. I was working in California. I came home for the holidays and um, my family recognized very quickly that something wasn't right with me. I don't even remember that Christmas at all. Um, my body ballooned up because of the ascites. With given two days left to live, I was given last rites on the evening before what I call my scheduled date to pass away. Um, they found a match for me. I was rushed down to Burlington, Massachusetts, Leahy Hospital, um, and the transplant was performed, which saved my life. <laughs> Just last month, we saw nearly 18,000 Mainers sign up as organ donors when renewing or getting their first driver's license or state ID. Getting that little heart symbol on your license doesn't take much effort other than checking off the yes box to agree to be an organ donor. But when the worst happens, that little heart can represent someone's second chance at life. Last year alone, organ donation saved more than 28,000 lives. One single donor can change the lives of more than 50 people. We're gonna recognize the month of April 2021 as Donate Life Month. So here's the proclamation. Whereas there are more than 108,000 Americans, including more than 6,000 residents of New England, who are currently waiting for a life-saving organ transplant, and whereas there are over 1 million life-enhancing tissue transplants each year that are made possible by the generous donations of corneas, bone, skin, and other tissue, and whereas we can help, we can, we can each help save up to eight people's lives and benefit up to 50 recipients by enrolling in the main donor registry when we apply for or renew our driver's licenses, or by registering online at either www.registerme.org or the Bureau of Motor Vehicles website. Therefore, I, Kate Snyder, Mayor of Portland, do hereby proclaim April 2021 as Donate Life Month and urge all citizens of Portland to take cognizance, to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. Signed and sealed this 15th day of April 2021. Maine is a great leader with 57% of the state registered as organ and tissue donors. We think that we can get to 60. We encourage people to say yes when they go to the BMV and or online at registerme.org. You, you don't have to go to the DMV if you don't have that um, on your license already. You can just simply go, if you have an iPhone, you can go to the health app and you can sign up right there. It takes like 30 seconds or you can go to registerme.org and it takes 30 seconds and you can do it right there because that goes to the national uh, organ donation and your, your name will be on that list. It, just because you don't have the heart on your license doesn't mean you have to go to the DMV and get a new license just for that. Um, can't stress enough the need for organ donation and how many lives are impacted just by one simple act of kindness.